There is a problem between Hindus and Islam. In Egypt, there is a problem between Christian and Muslim. In, in Israel itself, there is a problem for the Christian. Uh, I no place. You in the Marxist, no place. Islam so dominates, allows the freedom of other religions. I support this mosque, no problem. But why do you pick this particular spot? Why do you call it Cordoba? Cordoba means invasion. You know the Arab Muslim invaded Andalusia, right? That's why I'm, I'm, I'm against the net. Okay, there is good here, the mosque, no problem. I support it. I condemn burning the Quran, yes. But I condemn burning the Christian alive in India. You know that. There is some Christian burn alive in Egypt. Yesterday and day before, the church is burned in Egypt. Here in the United States, there is a small church here. Never been to rebel. Orthodox church here. St. Nicholas, the Orthodox church. Another Catholic church burning up in the Bronx. I don't want to talk about it. And they kill Muslims in India. Look. Muslim, Muslim, Muslim feel supremacy. Muslim feel supremacy because they have the money, they have the power, they have the support of the United States. This is not your problem. This is the foreign policy problem of the United States. Thank you, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Religion and, and race. That's what history teaches. It teaches nothing else. But why are you generalizing that every single Muslim around the world is the same? Nobody's generalizing that at all. You're saying that because someone in some other country, in a foreign nation somewhere, said we're not practicing religious tolerance. No, no. There are hundreds. There are hundred mosques in New York. There are probably thousand mosques in the continent. And how many places in the country it's, it's are they attacking mosques? It's part of a building. Not. It's part of a building. Murphysburg. Turn on the friggin' news, buddy. Murphy's it's all over the. What about Staten Island? What, what's been that's attacked? Not, that's not far away enough from here, Staten Island. There's been. What happened in Staten Island? There's been attacks. It's biggest. Real attacks or just Biggest. We let that. Did not let them build a mosque in Staten Island. What do you want? That's not know, far enough know, away. Oklahoma is not far enough away. California is not far enough away. Nothing is far enough away for bigots. Yep. Nothing yep. is far enough. This is the war against bigotry right here. It has to be fought right here. Where the hell are we going to get a record around here? This fucking Nazi is coming here factory back. to speak for our dead. Here. What's that? This fucking Nazi from Europe. There's enough Nazis in this country. They're inviting Nazis from Europe to speak for the art dead this Saturday. And that's your that's all right. You care about Muslims, we don't care about Nazis speaking for our dead. Filters out of out of out of 9-11. Uh, why will Pam get why is Pamela get Newt Gingrich said he can't be near him. They invited Newt Gingrich, he said he can't be near this guy. Newt Gingrich is right. On this case, on this point, Newt Gingrich is right. He said, Pam Geller, I can't be near him. Pam Geller is associating with the Dutch Neo. His link with people like Le Pen, Jean-Marie Le Pen in France, another fascist, uh, followers of Hayter in Austria, Umberto Bassi of the Northern League in Italy, hello? They're all fascists. They're all neo-fascists. They don't walk around with swastikas now. They put on a business suit. And they hate immigrants. Do you understand? They hate immigrants. They turn it to New York City into Dresden. All of Gert Wilders, the Dutch neo-fascist. Why won't she denounce him? Pamela Geller points her finger at Muslims for not denouncing Hamas. While she, Pamela Geller, associates with the Dutch neo-fascist. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. I work, ladies and gentlemen. They stock shit. You are trying to get the guy out. Go to jail. I'm going to go to jail. You're going to jail. You're going to run away. You're going to run away. You're violent. You're going to run away. You're violent. You're going to run away. You're violent. Okay, I'll be okay. 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 Okay, I
Inshallah, this is the the masjid. I'm inside the masjid. Inshallah, this is the masjid Kadoba at the downtown out off of, of ground, what they call the ground zero mosque, which is not on ground zero. So this is the masala area. This is the area in which the jama'at makes the congregation of salah here and over here is the sister area sister's area is cluttered off inshallah this is the security brother yeah This is the downstairs, down stairs area where they have the iftar. And, uh, this masjid has been here since May of 2009. It was never an issue. Now it becomes an issue because of people are trying to stop. Islam and becoming a focus here in America, which has been here in America way before Columbus got here. Yeah, so inshallah the Muslims are not going anywhere. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it clear that Islam will prevail over all other ideologies, even though the disbelievers hate it or are adverse with it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also said that they try to put out the light of Allah, or they, they will try to put out the light of Allah with their their tongues, their mouths, but Allah will save only to perfect it. Alhamdulillah. This is the front entrance of the masjid. When you take an oath to protect this country from enemies foreign and domestic, you swore an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States was amended to, control, to give people an understanding of what is the good behavior of good American citizens. They offer you four things that you must do. You must provide freedom of religion. You must provide freedom of speech, you must provide freedom of press, and you must concur with the right to free assembly. You only get freedom of religion if you offer first the liberty of conscience, which is the right to have your own thoughts and believe your own thoughts. You get to have freedom of religion only if you have the opportunity to worship your own conscience. And you get freedom of religion if you can express it in public where you want, when you want, and how you want, without interference or intermeddling from anyone else. If you don't offer your American citizens, your fellow Americans, the first right, you do not get any of the others. Because if you take away the freedom of thought, you do not have the freedom to speak. If you don't have the freedom to speak, you do not have the freedom to publish. But don't have the freedom to publish, and you don't have the freedom to assemble and, and seek redress. You'll be sending off young men and women, so the flower of our new nation, or our nation today, to kill and die for these principles. And if you don't believe in them, if you don't, if you took that oath and you won't hold them, you don't make a compromise. You don't ask the people who wish to perform that to move down the street, to relocate, and as one woman said, put the fucking thing in the middle of the Hudson River. You don't ask people to die for those things. Thank you, sir. It's against what you're standing here, sir. The man burning the prayer. Oh, no, listen to me for a second.